everyone and welcome back to my channel like you guys can see from the title of this video in this video i'm going to be sharing my favorite fragrances i'm not going to be sharing my entire fragrance collection i'm just going to be sharing my absolute favorites when it comes to body and hair perfumes i like to think i have a really unique fragrance collection and and a lot of you who were interested did request this video so i thought i'd film this for you guys so in this video i'm not going to be uh including my home fragrances things like diffusers and stuff that i like to use at uh yeah to make my house smell good i think i'll do a separate video on that and if you guys are interested let me know first i'm going to do body perfumes and then i'll do my hair perfumes now let me just tell you guys my style of um, fragrance i'm not afraid of a strong scent i like strong scents but I always have to have it backed up with something floral or sweet. Sweet, by sweet, I don't mean fruity, like necessarily like super fruity, but just something, even in floral scents, there's sometimes a sweetness to them. And uh, yeah, I like that. But again, I'm not shy of a strong fragrance. Just gonna throw that out there because some of these fragrances, some of these perfumes are really strong. And another thing worth mentioning is I like to mix my fragrances. I like to mix my kind of stronger scents with something that's light and floral. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about um, is uh, something that's exclusive to Dubai, but they do ship worldwide, I believe. Um, but then again, if you're ever coming here, I would rather you come here and smell the fragrance than buy it online. I don't really trust buying fragrances online. So yeah, this is by the brand Hadara and this is in the scent Rhonda. Now, 100% consider this a very, very strong scent. This one is just, I love this one so, so, so much. I'm going to quickly read you guys the notes. So the top notes are bergamot and pink pepper. Middle is jasmine rose. Base is cedar wood, balsamic, vanilla, and woody. Now, if I hadn't read the notes and if I didn't know what this fragrance had, now I would describe this as a woody vanilla rose scent. And you guys, those three combined together is just, just magical. This one just smells so, so good. Every time I wear this, um, I always get asked what I'm wearing. And plus, of course, I, like I said, it's a stronger scent, so it kind of stays on for longer also the color of this is pretty opaque and, and now i don't know if this is true or not but hussein would always tell me that the darker the color the more long lasting the fragrance so this one's definitely on the darker tone so this is definitely not a perfume i'm going to put on to go to the grocery store this is mostly date night special occasions i'm wearing a really nice maxi dress or you know something of that sort i'm going to be hugging someone and i want them to smell me and i need to smell really really amazing so this one's reserved for those days now since this is like a dubai scent this is uh definitely something you can you know girls wearing with their abayas um i swear these girls our girls they walk by with their abayas and you just get like uh hit with these amazing scents and this kind of reminds me of that so yeah i love love this one i would just in in summary i would describe this as a reserved for fancy occasions woody vanilla rose scented amazingness that's definitely on the stronger side i actually do want to let you guys know like where i would put my perfume usually i tend to not put too much perfume on my actual clothes i know that's honestly not even good because you can definitely stain your clothes but that's not to say that i haven't ever put it on my clothes like sometimes i will but normally I like to put it on uh, four different areas. So basically on the sides of my neck, because come on, when you hug someone, they gotta, they gotta get hit with this scent. So yeah, on the sides of my neck and then on my wrists on both sides. Now I did have a really nasty habit of uh, when I would put it on my wrist, I would kind of rub it together and I watched Huda's video and she said that that's defeating the purpose of the fragrance. So we're absolutely not going to do that anymore but yeah these kind of four areas are where i really really like to apply the perfume and then i might you know give it a few spritz here and there but i don't normally like to put too much on my actual clothes but this next one is a gucci fragrance now this is the gucci bloom and you guys i love this one so much okay so this one is just my ideal floral 
scent. For me, I would describe this as a lighter fragrance, but that's not to say that the smell isn't strong. It's definitely on the stronger side. It smells like a literal expensive bouquet of flowers, but like times 10. That's just the situation. It's like a musk, rose, like just like everything that you want a floral smell to smell like, you know? I don't know, oh my god, this just smells so good. Like it just smells so good. Just this one I would describe definitely as a more daytime scent. Like all the summer dresses that you guys see, um, you know, me rocking on Instagram, this is what I have on. This is um, literally my summer dress fragrance. Like it's everything is incomplete until I have this fragrance on. Basically my current favorite daytime scent and uh, I don't know. I mean, this is one of those, this is definitely one of those fragrances that no one would dislike. You know what I'm saying? Like you smell it and you like it. I guess only if you really just hate flowers in general that you might hate it, but I don't think there's like a single person out there that just really passionately hates flowers. But anyways, love this fragrance. Definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so the next one I want to talk to you guys about is a Jo Malone fragrance. Now this is the Velvet, Rose, and Oud. This one is definitely more on the intense side. Like it says in the name, 100% this is Oud and Rose. Together, mixed, had a baby, it's this fragrance. Now because it has a really just heavy, smoky, wood, Oud uh, base and topped with something that's, you know, floral like a rose, it reminds me of Dubai, I mean the malls, people walking by, this is just a very Dubai smell. It smells just so, so good. It's definitely on the sweeter side. I feel like it's a good combination of both. Like the Oud and Rose aren't um, overpowering each other. They're just kind of sit perfectly with each other. Like when I smell it, I don't, um, you know, smell more of one and less of one. It's just, they're both like perfectly there. It's just like an ideal Oud fragrance for me. So I had to share this one. It's my absolute favorite. And well, I'm gonna say my absolute favorite for like all these fragrances because duh, I'm like sharing my favorites. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, this one is definitely a night fragrance for me as well. Definitely date night, but I wouldn't be afraid to wear this to the movies too, you know, if I wanna smell good. So I don't know, to me, this smell is like when you want something, you know, masculine, but you want it to smell feminine, if that makes any sense. That's kind of what like Oud and Rose combined together do for me. And I absolutely love this. So my next one is also another Gucci perfume. And this one is called A Song for the Rose. How pretty is that name, by the way? Um, Now, surprise, surprise. This one's another one with uh, a rose scent to it. But you guys probably have realized how much I love rose scented fragrances. But this one's different. I swear, all of them are just so different from each other that I absolutely cannot compare. They kind of do separate things for me. This one is like one of those like exclusive collections that Gucci has. And this one is probably the sweetest smell that I have in my collection. And those fragrances that I like to mix with my um, more intense smells. But that's obviously not to say that this, you know, doesn't have a fan base of its own. This one I would describe as a light, clean, airy um, floral scent. It's, now from what I've read, it's composed of a Bulgarian rose. Now I've never smelled a Bulgarian rose on its own, but if it smells like this, then I'll take 10. <laughs> Even though I'm describing this as a light scent, every time I've used this, it's it has stayed. It has stayed for a long time and I have been asked what I'm wearing. So I love this one. Okay, so this next one is a long, long, long time absolute favorite, like from college days, and I obviously still have it. So this is the Giorgio Armani C. You know what? This is not an overpowering floral scent for me. It's definitely on the stronger side, even though there is a rose scent in there, and like I guess you can categorize this as a floral, but that's not immediately what I take from it. Even though it has a floral kick to it, I would describe this more musky than anything. I know like the top notes are blonde musk and now while this is definitely like a stronger scent for me it just smells like confidence you know like it just smells like a, i mean i guess some people wouldn't use this as an everyday scent but i definitely would it smells so like musky so strong but 
then again still delicate and this is definitely for those girls that um you know don't absolutely love floral scents but want a kick of something feminine this is definitely that one like it's feminine but it's not like in your face floral do you know what i'm saying the floral and like the the floral bit is definitely in the back somewhere i mean that's personally what i feel maybe because i have so many other ones that are just so strong and floral that's how i feel about this one but yeah this one has just been an absolute favorite of mine for such a long time and absolutely cannot go wrong with this another favorite that's a bit of a weird one and i'll tell you why is the dior j'adore fragrance now this one i love for a separate reason other than the smell the smell is great but um this kind of reminds me of my childhood like this is you know the perfume that my mom would use all the time it would always be on her vanity and this just kind of reminds me of her even though she doesn't use it anymore as much but um, it just reminds me of my childhood and it reminds me of my mom. So it's an amazing fragrance. The smell is absolutely amazing. It kind of just smells like a woman. I mean, maybe I'm just associating it with my mom too much, but it just smells like a like a woman, like how a woman should smell, even though they're definitely, you know, it doesn't need to be a specific smell to a woman, but it, that's just what it reminds me. Now, while this is 100% floral, it's uh, more than rose or anything like that. I feel like it just has a major kick of jasmine and I think it's composed of actually like two or three types of different jasmine flowers and it's like an all time favorite because of the memories that I have like associated with it. I absolutely love the smell and I love putting it on. It is 100% a smell on me that lasts for a very very long time like an all day scent for me and you can never really go wrong with the j'adore fragrance so yeah i definitely wanted to mention this and um you know what like how many of you guys' mom used to use this i mean this was such a popular scent back then it's such an old scent but it's still like going strong and it smells like amazing so definitely wanted to include this in there now let's move on to my top three hair fragrances okay so like me you know you're probably wondering like what's the difference between a hair perfume versus a body perfume you know like why not just use the body perfume on the hair and i did some research for you guys so basically first of all hair perfumes are less expensive than the body ones even though their fragrance is absolutely the same they have less alcohol in them and they also provide shine to the hair so that's just a little difference like if you were thinking of just putting your normal perfume on your hair you might not want to do that because obviously alcohol is not that great for your hair and yeah if you were like me wondering what the difference is those three factors are what makes it a hair perfume rather than a body perfume. The reason I like to use hair perfumes is, uh, so like when you hug someone, you know, what are they really smelling? Your hair. Like when you, I, I always thought about that. When someone hugs you, they're gonna smell your hair. So that's kind of why like, you know, your shampoo or something like a hair perfume is really important i don't know that's just my opinion anyways i have three hair perfumes that i have, actually maybe i have four i don't know i have um a couple of hair perfumes that i want to share with you guys and uh yeah i think you guys will absolutely love okay so the first one i want to share with you guys is by the brand gizu and uh now they're the only ones from my bunch of hair perfumes that are primarily a hair care brand so um i absolutely love this scent and this is one of those scents that i not only like to put on my hair but i will put it on my body as well it smells like summer it smells like just the most fresh summery scent it's, it's not floral the top notes of this fragrance are honey this is really really strong when i put it on it'll last me like a good day or maybe like a day and a half which is really good for a hair perfume now i would have never thought to have honey in a fragrance but uh or like you know how that honey would smell like but it's weird like i smell the honey i smell the sweetness from this hair perfume and yeah it's definitely my absolute favorite it's like an all-rounder like this is something i would use in the summer not 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 a winter scent for me personally it's definitely like a super summery scent so i absolutely love this one okay so the next one i want to share with you guys I actually just ran out of completely last week so you probably can tell how much i love this one this is the miss dior um hair mist and it's a really really fine hair mist that smells 
like a literal bouquet now you can definitely get the theme here that when it comes to my hair i tend to stay away from the oud and the stronger scents and go more towards very very light and airy because i notice that when i'm sleeping at night and you know my hair is like all over the place i tend to get a headache when um the smell in my hair is too strong so you definitely want to surround a very very light and airy smell when it comes to your hair especially if you're someone um that tends to get headaches with stronger smells and stuff like that so yeah this miss dior one is again a really just light clean floral smell that you would hope someone's hair smells like do you know what i'm saying you know especially for those girls that use a curling iron and straightener in their hair and they get that curling iron straightener smell you know what i'm talking about if you use a straightener especially you guys need to kind of invest yourselves in a hair mist because we don't want to smell like our hair is burning you know this is not a cute look and this one 100 is not seasonal this one would probably be like one that i would use all year round you know it's not an overpowering smell i don't have problems with it when it's in my hair and i go to bed it usually is fine you know i don't have a headache or anything with some smells you know they tend to do that it's definitely not too floral it uh kind of has something citrusy in there so when automatically when i think of something citrusy i associate it with fresh and clean and that's exactly how you want your hair smelling like so absolutely love this one and definitely wanted to share it with you guys so another hair perfume i wanted to share with you guys is the j'adore hair mist now this one doesn't personally to me smell exactly like you know the perfume version they could be siblings but they definitely like are different now while the j'adore perfume i would describe obviously like i said like a really floral kind of smell but this one has notes of blood orange so it kind of has that citrusy kick while still being floral so it really is just super clean and i definitely would say this one lasts a really really long time too like this is one of those like long lasting hair perfumes of mine so i absolutely love this one doesn't give me a headache um super light fresh airy but a scent that lasts okay so now the last hair mist that i want to talk about is by the brand carolina herrera and it's in the good girl collection now first of all can we just talk about how cute the bottle is um so in comparison, like if I were to compare, this is the hair mist and I actually do have the full size perfume as well. So it's definitely slightly smaller, but it's just absolutely adorable and it smells amazing. Like it's just such a pleasant, amazing smell. It's not rose, you know, there's nothing rosy about the smell. Kind of smells like um, a little bit chocolatey and then I was wondering why I was saying it smells chocolatey and it has cocoa beans inside so kind of makes sense but uh, it's definitely like your ideal jasmine scent but with the hint of something else and now from what I've read it kind of has hints of tonka beans and cocoa so I definitely smell that like cocoa-ness in it and it's just super unique and it's a really really pleasant hair smell and I definitely want to share with you guys okay so that's it I feel like I've shared my top tier ideal scents like if you were to meet me you were to hug me I'd probably be wearing one of these but if I end up ever liking another scent I'll keep you guys updated these are my current favorites for hair and body I'm actually gonna let you guys in on something when I got married I literally only used to have like three bottles of perfume that were like my absolute favorites and uh yeah those were the only scents i used to wear i didn't have like an extensive collection i didn't think i needed to but then i married hussein and this guy is crazy about fragrances like you guys should see his collection i was shocked when i saw just how many he had so yeah over the years then i you know looked into more scents half of these are scents that he chose for me so yeah, um, I'm just really happy with my current collection. I don't think I need to add on to this anymore. Before I go, I obviously do want to let you guys know, um, you know, some of the upcoming videos. I did ask you guys over on Instagram what you guys wanted to see from me. So I, my next video is probably going to be a um, hair related video. I haven't done a hair video in a hot minute and I definitely want to film one. But after that, but the video after that, since a lot of you guys requested it, I'm going to film the what I eat in a day slash day in the life type full day vlog and 
yeah it might be a little bit boring but uh, I'll keep it super realistic and try to keep it a little bit more fun for you guys over on Instagram a lot of you requested a relationship advice video um, and I think I can do that I mean let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in something like that but yeah, if I get enough of you guys interested in a video like that, I'll definitely film a relationship advice video because I like to think I give some pretty bomb, amazing advice to my friends. So, um, you know what? Now that I think of it, I think it's my friends that are commenting with their fake accounts on my profile for me to do a relationship advice video. But uh, yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. And just like that, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for your constant support, for watching my content and keeping me sane throughout this whole time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow me over on Instagram so you are notified of my latest upload. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Until next time.